So does it appear very easy? Step one, create a new Facebook profile? Not really. So please pay attention. What you need are as follows. A new email address. The good news is that a, a Gmail will do. And it's very easy to create a Gmail. You may need to stand by a phone number, but if you follow my steps, the phone number will not be compulsory. If you do it wrong, they will ask you for phone number verification and understand that a phone number that was previously used for a verified profile that is now no good cannot be used again. Everything has to be new, including a recent photo. So it's important, recent photo, not a photo 10 years ago. Recent photo. This is a secret, my friends. The secret is this. Create a new profile using your mobile phone on your internet network, which is your 4G or your 3G. Do not use a laptop or desktop. Let me say this again. You're going to create a new profile using your mobile phone only. Do not use a laptop or a desktop. The idea is for you to create a new Facebook profile on your mobile phone itself using your existing 4G network. Now let's understand why. Well, number one, the 4G network has a shared IP address or what we call a dynamic IP address and they couldn't single you out when you're using a 4G network because the 4G network is being shared by a lot of users and a lot of people create new accounts every single day. So you are going to do what, take an action that is fairly taken by new Facebook users every single day on 4G networks all across the world. That's the primary reason. Why do, you want, why do you not want to use your laptop? Well, your laptop technically can be used, but if, assuming in this example, you already gotten your account banned and you do not know how to clean up your laptop, your registry and your cookies and all these things, then it's going to be difficult. And thirdly, believe it or not, that the flow for a Facebook profile set up on a mobile phone is much shorter and simpler than the same flow on a laptop. How do I know? I tested it out. So as it turns out, when you use a 4G network, a new Gmail account, setting up a Facebook profile on a 4G enabled mobile phone, it does not ask you for phone verification known as PV, phone verification for short. But if you go through a laptop, they, know, they would almost always ask you to verify and input and verify a phone number. So my point is that if you want to not run the risk of a PV, phone verification step, and that means you need a new phone number, then follow what I tell you to do. Use a mobile phone only. Don't use a laptop or a desktop. There are more steps, by the way. Next, you're going to open up your existing mobile app. So not so fast. You can open up your existing Facebook mobile app. Now, what if you don't have a mobile app, which would be quite odd for a Facebook advertiser, I think. Then you're good. You know, if you, have, if you do not have Facebook mobile app on your phone or it's a totally new handphone, then no problem. There's no fingerprint. But if you have your existing profile on your mobile phone, you need to open up your app, navigate to clear your browsing data and your cookie. So there are two things over here, your browsing data and the cookie associated with your mobile phone because they are all footprints. You're also going to remove your account info and it's much simpler to do these things on a mobile phone than on a laptop. I'm going to show you exactly what to do, by the way. 
going to remove your account info and uninstall your app and reinstall your app and you would have now a clean Facebook mobile app to register a new profile that is not linked to any previous profile. That is a whole idea, my friends. And you create a new account, essentially. Now, let's take it step by step because you first need to open up your existing mobile app and clear browsing data and cookies. And here are the steps. From left to right, you're going to go to the bottom. The, we call this the burger, the tree line, which is the burger. Click on the burger and scroll all the way down until you see settings. Click on settings. And then you will see an option called browser. Click on browser. You will have the option of clicking on the clear button. You will click on the clear button and you will see that the status here that says last cleared on your current date time stamp itself, knowing that your browsing data and your cookie has been cleared. So this is step one. And this is done on your existing mobile phone. So once again, right, we go into the burger menu on the bottom right, navigate to settings. Let me do it again. Go to the bottom right, navigate to settings, navigate to browser, click on clear below browsing data and confirm the status that your browsing data has been cleared. This is the first thing you need to do. So once your browsing data is done, then you do the next thing, which is remove account information. So by default, if you realize you actually are never locked out on Facebook and many of these other super apps. It's persistent login. So you need to now go to the burger menu again and scroll all the way down past settings. You see a prominent option right below that says logout. And you are now going to click on logout. What you will see is probably your profile photo showing on your logout screen. Now, Clicking your photo will lock you back in automatically because your account info is stored on your mobile phone. So don't click on your image. Rather, click on the wheel over here, which is a setting icon. And when you click on the wheel, you'll be given the option to remove save login info or remove account. In this case, you're going to click on remove account. And what this is going to do is now going to remove the remaining user info, primarily your email address, your password, and so on and so forth, your profile photo. And you'll be left in a blank state like this. Now at this stage, you can just go ahead and click create new account. Or if you really want to be safe, then uninstall your entire app, go back to your app store and reinstall a fresh Facebook app. You will see a blank screen because there's no data, your browsing data, your cookies, your user data have all been erased and you can go ahead and now click on create new account.